Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week I'll speak with swimming coach Cami Gardner, men's basketball captain Mark Krogan, and Shane Connors from the wrestling team. But first, here's a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and Lee Athletics. Men's basketball ran its record to 12 and 4 with an 87-77 ODAC win over Shenandoah. In a field heavy with Division I schools at VMI's Keydet Invitational, women's track and field recorded six top 10 finishes, while the men's team posted five top 10 showings. And both swimming teams closed out the regular season with dual meet wins over Randolph and Roanoke. With me in the studio is swimming coach Kami Gardner. Kami, welcome back to the show. Thank you. It's great to be here. Looking at the regular season, both WNL teams went eight and one in dual meets and won the ODAC relays. The women also placed first at FNM back in November. How pleased have you been with the year so far? Um, I've been exceptionally pleased with this uh, year so far. I mean, the kids came in in great shape. Uh, they really gelled as a team from the get-go. There was great chemistry, and you saw that out of the water, and in the water they just did the work. Um, they, they were tough, um, both in practice and in competitions, and um, have set themselves up for great ODAC championships. This past Saturday was senior day for 14 of your student athletes. What has that group meant to the WNL program? A lot. I mean, simply put, uh, they are one of the most prolific uh, uh, classes in program history. They are incredibly successful in the pool, multiple time all Americans in this group. But, um, you know, swimming, as hard as it will be to replace, um, we can do that. It's the leadership they provided outside the pool, um, just they're kind of the Pied Pipers of the program right now. And the thing, um, I think I'll miss their energy the most, uh, but they have left a great blueprint for um, future teams. So um, they'll have a lasting effect on this program. What's the training regimen like over the next couple of weeks as you prepare for the ODAC championship? Rest, rest, and more rest. Um, they've worked really, really hard in the pool. Um, they've been outstanding. Um, not only in training, but in competition, swimming faster than ever. And like I say, I think they're primed and ready to go. We just um, focus on relaxing and, and mental preparations, and um, I think we're ready to go. What are the keys to postseason success for Washington and Lee? Um, well, the ODAC championships, we just have to stay focused on what we're doing and um, how well we're going to do it. Um, and then we have to have the rest of the nation work with us for, for the NCAAs. But I think we have great opportunities for a lot of relays, um, several individuals. So um, I think we'll be there in full force. Cami, thank you for joining us. Best of luck at the ODAC meet. Thank you very much. Here with me in the studio is Shane Connor, senior wrestler from Mount Erie, Maryland. Shane, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. So far in the new year, you won your own Jim Kreitzer Invitational. The Generals also finished fourth in a very deep field up at Lycoming. How has the team fared so far in 2020? Yeah, we've been, we've been doing really well. Um, you know, the season was a little bit different this year with us coming back uh, the day after Christmas to go down to the uh, Citrus Invitational in Florida. So we were down there for four or five days, had a lot of fun, um, wrestled against some good teams. And then that kind of just had us ready for the Kreitzer. Um, you know, this year the Kreitzer was, you know, the most stacked it's ever been with uh, Ferrum and Messiah both there. And, you know, we won in that field. Um, so I had a lot of momentum going forward with that. And then uh, same with Lycoming. Um, you know, it was like the same field, maybe tougher than last year. Last year I think we got 11th place and this year fourth place. So um, making a lot of progress and, you know, we're getting better at the right time. Your only two home dual meets of the season are coming up shortly. Ferrum tonight and then Southern Virginia in a week and a half. How much is the team looking forward to those events? Yeah, we're really excited. Um, you know, last year we wrestled Ferrum uh, earlier in the season, and that went to the you know the last match where our heavyweight ended up sealing the deal, beating a returning regional champion. So, you know, we're really that, that's always a really fun match. We're excited for that one, um, and it's fun to you know showcase our skills in front of the school. Um, you know, have all our friends and, and family come out and support. So, you know, we're excited for that one. Also, SVU Senior Night. Um, you know, just excited to go out there and compete. During your career at WNL, the Generals have gone from being maybe a competitive underdog into receiving uh, rankings in the national poll, a first place pick in this year's Centennial Conference preseason poll. How is the team coping with that kind of external pressure? Or is that something that you even address, you even think about? Yeah, we don't really think of it so much as pressure. It's more so just, you know, kind of validation as to, you know, the hard work that we put in over the years. Um, you know, we felt like we, we kind of got like disrespected by the polls in years past. Um, we would have a good season, then we'd still be near the bottom of the polls. 
So it's, it's good to you know, finally get some of that validation that you know, the hard work we're putting in is getting recognized. Um, but ultimately, when you step out on the mat, you got to put rankings aside because you know, the other team doesn't care how good you are. You shouldn't care how good they are. Um, you just got to go out there and compete and trust that the hard work paid off. So. WNL opens up Centennial play with a quad at Gettysburg this weekend. What are the general's expectations for the conference? Yeah, I mean, you know, goal's always the same. We want to win all the conference matches, uh, you know, win the conference championship. And, you know, with that, we just want to be getting better at the right time. Um, have a lot of momentum going into the conference tournament, uh, so we're in the best shape for regionals and nationals. Um, so it's really just, you know, keeping our heads down, working hard, and um, knowing that the hard work's going to pay off and we'll get the results that we want. Shane, thanks so much for being here. Good luck with the rest of the year. Yeah, thank you. Joining me now is Mark Krogan, senior basketball captain from Rye, New York. Mark, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Entering Wednesday night's game against Roanoke, the Generals have won seven of their last eight. What's been working well for the team over the past few weeks? Uh, sure. So I think as the year started, um, I think you know as well as anyone else who's been covering our team, we had some games where we kind of had a sluggish start. Um, but we were fortunate enough to come out on top in a lot of those games. And I think what that taught us was a level of resiliency. Um, so now when we see you know, any type of adversity, say we miss, a, you know, miss an easy shot or commit a turnover, that type of adversity doesn't really hold for long. Um, I think we have a good ability to get past things and know, you know, bunker down on those things we do well in order to move forward. And I think we've been doing a good job of that recently. You've carved out a spot in the rotation based on your rebounding and your work on the defensive end. How do you approach your role on the court? Well, I think the most important thing you said there is the word role because you know, there, there are guys in the team whose role is to light up the stat sheet with 20, 25 points. Um, and that might not be mine, but that doesn't mean I have to be a detriment to the offense. So usually when I go there, yes, defense and uh, rebounding are, are the things that I, I think I do best. But I need to be in a point where I'm on the offensive floor and I can, you know, get a shot for Will Brueggemann or Richie Manigault by getting to open space. Um, I can't just let it be four or five in there. So uh, definitely my role is, you know, based on that defensive end, but um, I'm, you know, trying to do everything I can to get those guys the best shot they can. WNL has a very talented uh, rookie class. You rely on some of those first years to fill key spots on the floor. How has that group progressed over the course of the season? I think they've progressed phenomenally. Um, I think they have, you know, a wonderful not only work ethic, um, I think they want to be there. They're very hungry to learn. But they also have a very, uh, very good basketball IQ across the board. Um, these kids that, these are kids that know how to play. Um, and, I, you know, obviously they're still learning. But I think perform at a high level for a first year. Um, and you combine those traits with Coach McHugh. And I think you can already see the, uh, the product that's on the floor. Um, these kids are progressing at a really fast rate. And they mean a lot to this team. And they will over the next three years, four years. After you play the Maroons at home tonight, six of your last eight regular season games are on the road. What are the keys to battling through that tough portion of the schedule? Uh, well, I think the main thing to remember is that, uh, you know, it's about us. Coach McHugh says that a lot is, you know, we, we have to look at ourselves and be the best team we can be before we even worry about anyone else that we're playing. So, you know, it's easy sometimes to get caught up in uh, playing on a away team's floor. But if we remember that it's about the things we do, it's about our processes, our offense, our defense, um, then I think we can battle through those and come out on top. I mean, we've been a, a very solid road team so far. I think only have one um, true road loss at an opponent's place in, in Virginia Wesleyan. Um, and, you know, we intend to keep it that way. And so I think that's, that's our goal for now. Mark, thanks for joining us. Good luck with the rest of the year. Thank you very much. Here's what's in store for the upcoming weekend. Men's and women's track and field head to Salem for Roanoke's Finn Pincus Invitational. On Saturday, wrestling opens up Centennial Conference action with the quad match at Gettysburg, where the Generals will face Muhlenberg, McDaniel, and the host Bullets. Both basketball teams are also on the road as the women travel to Eastern Mennonite and the men visit Lynchburg. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.